Okay, well, here we are. I have not done one of these before, but I recently watched one that Kate Kavanaugh did, and it looked like fun. So I thought I would do it as well. Not the same book, specifically, just the format of her writing blog was fun, so I unashamedly copied it. I will leave a link in the description to Kate Kavanaugh's channel and also the specific reading vlog video that inspired my reading vlog video. Anyway, this is the book that I am reading right now. I started it a while back, but as a full-time nanny and then a writer on top of that, I don't have a lot of reading time. So, yep. I can't actually remember when I started this book, but it was before Christmas. But it's fine. I love Ted Decker. I've read a number of his books and enjoyed basically all of them. Most of them are page turners that I cannot put down and end up reading late into the night to finish them. This one has not been that way so far. I'm about, let's see, one, whoops, look at my lovely um, bookmark because I am that type of person. If I don't have a bookmark nearby, I will grab almost anything and shove it in a book. Yep. Anyway, I'm about 193, 92 pages in, basically halfway through the book at this point. It is um, kind of a murder mystery, uh, essentially. Hold on, let me just read the thing and then you'll know what it is. Would you kill an innocent man to save your daughter? They call him Bone Man, a serial killer who's abducted six women. He's the perfect father looking for the perfect daughter, and when his victims fail to meet his lofty expectations, he kills them by breaking their bones and leaving them to die. Intelligence officer Ryan Evans, on the other hand, has lost all hope of ever being the perfect father. His daughter and wife have written him out of their lives. Everything changes when Bone Man takes Ryan's estranged daughter, Bethany, as his seventh victim. Ryan goes after Bone Man on his own. But the FBI sees it differently. New evidence points to the suspicion that Ryan is Bone Man. Now the hunter is the hunted, and in the end, only one father will stand. It's been an interesting story, and I do really like crime fiction, so it's enjoyable. I've liked it. Um, but time constraints have led to the fact that it hasn't been a page turner, like the other Ted Decker books that I have read. Quick update, I've read just about 10 pages just now, but I wanted to discuss Ted Decker's writing um, because it's getting pretty intense. Ted Decker is really, really talented in that specific area. He can build the suspense and the action to a point where it gets so intense that you cannot put the book down and you just have to keep reading and have to keep reading, which is why, in general, when I read Ted Decker, I only take a day or two to read them because I cannot put them down and I have to keep turning pages. Um, he's just really, really masterful at that specifically. It's amazing. And I've reached a point in this book where it's all starting to build to that point. So I paused briefly to let you know that I've hit the point where it's just like, I cannot put this down. Which is unfortunate because nap time doesn't last forever and I'm a nanny. So at some point I will have to put the book down. Uh, something you should know about me as I'm reading this violent murder mystery uh, is that I am a very empathetic person and so um, on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm with my family and friends I can feel their pain at times if they stub their toe or whatever like I physically feel it and it's painful um, so when, when reading <laughs> A rather violent book. <laughs> it hurts. Everything hurts. Actually, because in this particular book, the antagonist is breaking people's bones very precisely. It hurts. I had to stop, which is why I'm now sitting here just talking to the camera. Because it... Oh, my feet hurt so much. It started, this scene started with just an explanation of the skeleton of the body and I thought this is not gonna go well and then and then it focused in on the feet um, 
I didn't know there were 52 bones in my feet. But they all hurt. All 52 of them hurt now. Yeah. Uh, I've never actually broken a bone, so this like phantom pain that I am feeling may not feel anything like a bone breaking. But whatever it is, it is painful. I'm also on page 271 at this point, so I've almost read 100 pages today. And the girls, surprisingly, are still asleep, so... Huzzah! I might get to keep reading. I don't think I'll finish it in this sitting, but I might get to keep reading. My empathies are becoming too real, you guys. Nah, I'm kidding, I just have a bloody nose. But, uh, it's disturbingly timed. Uh, blood everywhere. Also very close to my face, I apologize for that. You don't really need a shot up the bloody nose. If my bones just sporadically start breaking, I'll let you know. I am actually, well, hold on, I'm gonna pop that sucker out, but the blood seems to be slowing. Um, <laughs> anyway, I am actually learning lots of science -y facts through this episode, which is what I'm trying to focus on so that my empathetic pain doesn't get so much that I can't read. Um, so yes, I'm trying to focus on the sciencey facts about the skeleton of the body because I don't actually know that much about the skeleton of the body. So it's been, it's been interesting. My most interesting fact right now, which seems obvious, but I probably couldn't have told you this before, even though it is obvious. Let's see if I can find it. Evidently, as Bone Man pointed out on the wall, the human skeleton was designed to transfer shock distally to proximal skeletal structures. A direct blow to the palms is actually transferred up the arm and is more likely to break the collarbone as the wrist. Fascinating. I am so close to being done. Well, I finished. And I cried in that last chapter. It was good. It was very good. Don't mind the children playing in the room next door. They're a little bit loud. I really enjoyed this book. Not that that should be a surprise. I love Ted Decker. Um, and I also think this whole idea of vlogging myself reading books now has sort of motivated me to read more and read faster because I finished the book in two days. So yeah. Hopefully I'll get a lot more reading done now, I guess, that I'm vlogging it. I don't know. Anyway, I have to go pay attention to the children that are playing in the next room. I will talk to you later, I guess. 
or not really because this is the end of the vlog. I finished the book. Whatever. I'll see you in whatever my next video is. <laughs>